<clears throat> so this is a uh, video of the uh, VC project, and the reason it's called a VC, the VC project, is because it's a. This has a uh, Gen 4 Viper engine, and we put it in a uh, 2014 or 2015 Challenger. This is a tube chassis Challenger. You can see it's two row, two row Challenger. Or frame, two chassis frame, funny car. It's a 25.2. This is a 25.2 frame. Tom Brush built it. So, some of the coolness here is uh, we did uh, this is a fully sequential Gen 4. They got uh, throttle bodies by uh, Ross Machine Racing and uh, fuel rails. And then, uh, so one of the other cool things is we got. I did here because it's sequential. I don't know if you can see it down in here, but um, see there's see this right here. That's a Jeep cam position sensor. So to make this run sequential, I put a uh, I put a device kind of like you can see this. This here is what normally affects the cam position sensor on the Jeep. But I built something like that and put it on the front of the camshaft and stuck it out through the through the uh, motor plate so um then uh, now this motor plate is kind of cool uh ross machine racing helped me out there we took in um put the uh, o-ring that's on the uh, back of the viper gen 4 viper engine uh, front timing cover we put that same pattern on this motor plate and uh, so that's got that original o-ring there all right so this is a twin turbo twin turbo engine uh, it's a fuel filter or oil filter. Got uh, fuel filters here. You can see them here. And uh, we got the oil pump running off the belt. This is a uh, wet sump, and the oil, the fuel pump, is running off the back. Running off the back of the oil pump. So the oil pump belt blows off. Motor shuts off. All right. Let's see. So that's some of the coolness there. And. Uh, See, so what we're running here is a uh, the uh, ECU is actually is the EFI source gold box, and it's up underneath it here. And I've still got some wiring stuff to, to do. Um, and that you can see this, I haven't figured out a better way to do this yet, but that battery is actually running my TS dash screen. And the reason for that is the only reason is because when you crank it, some reason that voltage drops enough to uh, shut the screen off, and I haven't figured a, figured out a way to get around that yet. But that's TS dash by EFI Analytics, and that's kind of cool because um, I like it. it. You can see I can I can figure this. It's got the EGTs here. It's got the O2, O2 sensors. It's got all the different oil temperature, coolant temperature, intake air temperature. You know, and then you can. You can just pull this here. Duh, come on. It's supposed to be easier than this. But anyway, it's got a bunch of screens. You can configure them. That's a draggy screen. It's got this one here. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I like this one here. I like that one the best, I think. Cause it's got all the information right there. All right, so this is a six-speed Tremec uh, 6060 Viper transmission. Let's see, it's got a tight Viper symbol right there. See it right there? Yep. And uh, we put a uh, carbon fiber drive shaft in it. And uh, let's see. So we have this. Uh, this is a Moser Fab 9 40 spline axle to, with the gun drill axles. And uh, we're running, um, yeah, so the EGT is a Zetronic EGT system. I'm not sure about this yet. This is old school, apparently. Um, but uh, anyway, that's what we started with when we started building the project. We got. Uh, It's 34 by 17 slicks on the back here. 
Yeah, so, anyway. I haven't got the window glass in it yet. One of the other cool features is, this is cool. I put the, I put electric windows in it. Yeah, I did that just because uh, sometimes you're in the lanes and you're hot and you want a cold, you don't want some breeze coming across there. You can't reach it because you're strapped in. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna put electric windows in it. So for now, until we need some extra speed, that's what we're doing. Uh, so I don't know if there's much other coolness uh, to show you, but uh, there you go.